and welcome to another video so in today's video we are creating the look that I have on my eyes right here I'm doing it really really simple for you step by step so before you get started make sure that you have your palettes and your colors ready and also your brushes so you can just follow along enjoy so this is the watch the tea iced tea by the balm palette up close and the first shade I'm going to take as my transition shade is the O snap this is a gorgeous matte camel shade that will blend perfectly and goes on very well. Start by buffing this into your eye socket using a fluffy brush. I'm using my MAC 224. What I really appreciate about these matte shadows is that they, they're not chalk in the texture, but they're not super creamy either. They're just somewhere in between where they're super easy to blend and also buff out. Going back to the palette, I'm grabbing the rundown shade that is a brown matte shadow that has a more of a purple undertone. I pack it to the third part of my eye, winging it out perpendicular to the eye socket. Then I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and blend the edges and seams so that it's softer on the eye, making for a really, really soft look. Then I'm drawing it into my crease to just deepen the eye socket a little bit more. Next up, I dip into the shade Latest Scoop and use a smaller fluffy brush, just adding this with the lightest hand on the outer part of the third eye, just winging it out. This shadow is a little bit more gray, it tends to go more to the cooler tone than the other ones. Going back to the palette, I am taking He Said She Said, which is a gorgeous purple jewel tone shade. This one is super creamy and very, very easy to apply. So I'm applying it to the first part and second part on my eyelid, just all over to create kind of a shimmering veil. Then going in with the same brush that we just used, I'm just buffing out the edges, making it blend together with the jewel tone. With my fingers, I dip into the color Rumor Has It, and I apply this to my third and second part of my mobile lid just with my fingers because they do tend to apply a little bit better when they get heated up. I really love using the shade on its own during the day, more like a veil than as a potent opaque color but it's so beautiful on its own as well. Then I'm just cleaning up underneath my eye using a q-tip and my fingers to create a winged effect of the shadows as I think this suits my eye shape naturally but you can choose whatever shape you're comfortable with here. Moving on to our under eye, I am grabbing the shade The Rundown on a small dome brush and applying it just along my lash line, my bottom lid. Then I'm grabbing a fluffy clean brush and brushing this out and removing any harsh lines and just smoking it out, connecting it together with the upper lid shadow. Then with a small brush, I'm just applying the shade He Said She Said to my inner corners to brighten up and creating the illusion of bigger eyes. But I'm also applying this Thrabo just to highlight it, making it pop. Using my HOTS Laboratory Liquid Eyeliner, I am creating a winged eyeliner by stamping it on along my lash line. Then with two swiping motions, I'm just creating a wing to just extend the already natural shadow shape that we created. You can use this as a guide as it does help to just look at how it's shaped and just following its natural curves. Because I want this to be the kind of no extra lashes kind of look, I'm curling my lashes, then applying my liquid lash extension mascara from Thrive. I absolutely adore this formula. It is very easy to work with and it doesn't smudge on you or crumble or fall or anything like that during the day. It also contains Orchid stem cell complex that is supposed to actually encourage longer and healthier looking lashes over time. What I love about this is that when you wash it off, it just coagulates and just drips off your lashes without tugging, pulling, or needing to rub at all, and you just need water. There's no smudging whatsoever, so I highly recommend this mascara. Finally, I'm just brushing away any fall off that I've gotten during my makeup session again to just clean off all the glitter and everything like that. And voila, we're done. This is a very wearable cool tone brown smoker eye that is very quick and super easy for you to do. 
what I did is I actually applied a dark lip that I mixed together with what I had at hand because I think it makes for an even, even cooler look and it turns it up a little bit. Okay, beautiful. So now that I've actually gone through all the steps, I hope that it turned out just the way you wanted it and that you feel more beautiful than you already are. Let me know in the comments down below if it actually went the way you wanted it or if it didn't because sometimes it goes up and sometimes it goes south. I would love to know how it actually went for you. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. And make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!